And hello YouTube, this is JS, man, I'm smart, and I'm today on a brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create your own advanced animated end card. I did make a video on how to make an end card, also known as an end slate. Um, it's very simple, it's just a, it's just a image, and you can add annotations on top of that image to link to your other channels. But today we're going to go over something a bit more advanced, where you can actually add some animation to it, where you can actually add your own videos to the end card so that you can link people to other videos. And of course, you can still link people to your other channels as well. If you have more channels, or if you have uh, just one channel you want to tell them to, to subscribe. Uh, there are several programs I'm going to be using here. Um, I will be using Photoshop. However, Photoshop is not required. You can use GIMP. Uh, everything that everything you can do in Photoshop, you can do in GIMP just fine. GIMP is free. And I will be using Adobe After Effects. Um, and I don't know if there is a free version of a program like that. I guess you could use the free trial. Um, or you could try Sony Vegas as well. But I just think After Effects is much better. And I've been using this for a long time. So. I'll sort of guide you through how I've created my end card. As you see, this is my end card, and this is the project I always open when I uh, make a new video. I basically have this project saved like this. All I gotta do is right click, replace footage, and then just change the footage here and replace the titles, and that's it. I can render it. Before we go over everything in After Effects, how to do that, we have to first design our end card. And um, for the sake of, uh, well, for the sake of, Many of you not having Photoshop, maybe I'll probably go over how to do it in GIMP because it's very it's very similar. But if you understand GIMP, then you'll definitely understand Photoshop. So anyhow, let me just uh, hide all these layers so we can go over it just really quickly. So what you want to do is actually create a create a image that's 1920 by 1080. In case you're ever going to upload in 1080p, you want to have a 1080 image. So you just go to File, New, and make sure your settings are 1920 to 1080. And you should then have just something like this over the, over the white background. What I basically did here is I just looked up some random uh, cool backgrounds that I can use. And I sort of went through a lot of backgrounds and saw which one would be really fitting. And I like this one. Um, the only problem with this background was that this right here isn't the original background. If we actually go over to Photoshop here, uh, you'll see that the original background looks something like uh, this. You'll see the original background looks something like this. I did add a curve layer adjustment. Uh, I did this in Photoshop, but you can very easily do it in GIMP as well. Uh, all you gotta do is go up to colors, then go to curves and all I did was just darken the darks a bit and I lightened the lights a bit just a nice s curve if you don't know how to use the curves dialog box if you don't know how to use anything in relation with the curves uh, because this can be a bit confusing I have a video all about curves and all about color correction in on my channel actually so I'll link that video in the description as well as on screen right now if you want to learn how to use the curves dialog box and color correction all that stuff um, but I basically did that in uh, Photoshop, but you can do it very similarly in GIMP as I just showed you. So anyhow, after that, uh, you obviously want to have something say, oh, subscribe to my channel, or you want to have something say, follow my other channels on social media. And you could have a big subscribe button here at the bottom, which I actually didn't do, uh, because what I ended up doing was just putting my social media down here and... Uh, putting a little graphic here that I designed showing these logos. Now a graphic like this is very easy to make. All you basically have to do is create a rectangular box like that. And you know you just get your paint bucket tool, <clears throat> pick a grayish color like so if you wanted to. Uh, this obviously needs to be a new layer though. So a new layer and you make it gray. If you want to add a, a, a black outline, we go to select grow this say three pixels create another layer and then drag it under underneath that one and we'll just change this to black like so Oops, black like so get our paint bucket tool again and as you can see now we have a uh, black border around it and from here on you can either design your own logos here or you can get some logos off the internet and you can just add some text very easily and just 
you know, position it on top of this rectangle box. Uh, but it's very easy to do. I'm sure many of you who are familiar with Photoshop or with GIMP know how to do something like this. Um, if you want to make a really good looking end card, uh, you want to be very familiar with Photoshop and GIMP because there's a lot of cool design aspects you can add to your end card if you know how to use the program. So um, if you don't, maybe have someone, you know, ask them if they could create you an end card design. Maybe they'll, maybe it's, it'll be easier for you. Um, but then I wanted to go add my a little cartoon of myself that I have on all of my channels. Um, you don't need to do this if you have like a specific logo or you just want to add your channel name in a cool graphic and a cool text like colorful text or whatever. You can do that but this is uh, someone drew well someone drew part of this picture I drew uh, the other half of it and I edited it a bit. So I have that it's simply just a um, it's a separate Photoshop file I just imported here. And if you want to add video video places like if you want to add two or three videos for me to click very simple, just make more rectangles. Uh, you're just, it's a lot of rectangle making. Uh, once again, you know, just grab your rectangle tool, make uh, how big do you want your video? Well, my video is gonna be right around, uh, I don't know, like this maybe. And then you could just uh, make sure you always make it a new layer, new layer. And then if you want it to be black, you can do that. And you can duplicate this layer like so, right click duplicate. And you can move it to the side. Obviously this is a bit too big. You may wanna move this one over a bit or something like that and yeah just like that and um, you wouldn't add you wouldn't add the video like the title of the video you wouldn't add that at the bottom here uh, because you want to keep that for uh, After Effects because every time you use this template here you're gonna have a different video here and a different video title so that's why I uh, you don't want to add titles here you want to leave that when you drop it into After Effects but that's just an example we already have our own boxes and our own boxes are right here uh, once again, did I add a black border? No, not really. I didn't add a black border. Did I? It looks like I, I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Yeah, I guess I didn't. I think I did that in Photoshop. Um, but anyhow, and then I just added a nice thank you for watching at the very top, which uh, in Photoshop you see if I were to show all these layers. Um, I actually did add black borders around the uh, rectangles, as you see, and I also added a black border around the text. But you can do all this very similar in GIMP. You don't need Photoshop at all. If you want to add a black border around your text uh, very easily, the same way you added black borders around boxes, you just make a new layer, right? New layer, make it transparent, drag it underneath your text here, right click your text, alpha to selection. Sorry if I'm going, sorry if I'm going a bit too fast. I just don't want this to be the core of the video. Like I, I expect you to know a little bit about GIMP. So this is just sort of a refresher. Uh, so then on your new layer that you created, once you have alpha to selection on your text here, um, make sure your second layer that you created is underneath. Um, and click grow, grow it by three or grow it by four, whatever you want, and then just do that. So very easy, nothing too difficult at all. And if you're on Photoshop, it's even easier because all you have to do is uh, right click your text and click blending options and then uh, add an outline right here like I did. So nothing too difficult. But once, you, once you've created your, your picture, basically, you need to have an image. So this is your image, this is your end card design. Uh, you can drag it into After Effects. So the way this would look is you wouldn't have any of this, you wouldn't have that, you wouldn't even have this, and you wouldn't even have that. All you'd have is basically this. So what you do then is create a new composition, right? So new composition. You type in 1920 by 1080 because that's how big your picture is and you'll basically have a new composition and you can just drag your picture in. Obviously from your desktop, you need to drag all your files into here. So let me just delete these real quick so I can show you. So let me just, let me just delete everything so we can start from, from, uh, from scratch, I guess. So if I were to go to composition, right? New composition, I want 1920 by 1080. Here's a new composition. Here's a look like that. Then I'm gonna go to my uh, desktop or your folder where you have the end card design. And my end card design is right here. Oh, that's not it. Where is it at? Here it is, right? And then you just, you drag it into here. And then we can drag it onto here. And as you can see, Oh wait, this, this this was an earlier version because I don't have everything here. This was an earlier version of the end card. Okay, here it is. 
So we drag it in and there we go. So once you have that, uh, you can start adding your videos. Now, if you're like me, you might want to advertise one of your own videos on your own channels. You can obviously advertise other people's videos too if you want. But say I'm making a gaming video and I go to my uh, gaming channel here and say I've just made a new gaming video. Well, I want to advertise one of my, I want to tell people, hey, I, last videos was this or two videos ago I made this. So I would go to, okay, my last video was this right here. And the way I do this is if you have the video already on your computer still, you can always drag it in. But if you don't, you can copy and paste the link here and then go YouTube to MP4 like so. And that will obviously misspelled. That will bring you to this site right here. And this is a great site right here. You just paste the link in click download mp4 and you can download an HD or in regular mp4 uh, you don't really need to have an HD because it's gonna be fairly small anyway so you can download regular mp4 I'll leave the link to this site in the uh, description as well and then this will basically download and you basically just find this video in your downloads folder in the same way that you've dragged it in you just drag it in like so drag it into this area right here so here are my downloads for that. I have several of my uh, videos that I've already downloaded and I've used so all you gotta do is just grab the video that you download from your downloads folder and drag it in here and then so you have a second video right drag it in here and then all you gotta do is grab this and drag it onto here and we can start uh, basically changing the size of the size of this uh, you want to make sure that it's grab your hand tool here you can zoom in and you can make this as accurate as you want so maybe like so and then we obviously want it to reach the top here so we'll just grab the ends here and drag it like so and when you're doing this just be careful because um, if you make one side bigger, the other side will get bigger too. I forget how exact, I forget the exact dimensions I used here. As you can see, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty big. This took me a while to actually get correct. Just because of, it tries to retain the aspect ratio. But the more you resize it, the closer you'll get it. So, that looks, that looks okay for now. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, well, just um, you know, some you have to you have to play with the size here a bit. Um, the way you can also do it is click down arrow here, go to transform, and you can change the scale value here. If you click the unlink right here, you can uh, scale it without it changing the aspect ratio. So, like so, just make sure you click unlink here because if you link it, then it'll change. So well, basically, if you, if you change up and down, the right and left will change as well. We don't want that. So something like that, right? And um, then, obviously, our second video, we want to drag in too. And here, you can simply just grab the... You can, you can grab the options here. So you can highlight all this. Copy, Control C. And just apply it to that video right here. And as you'll see, it'll be the same size. And then you can just drag it over to there. Um... Like I said, this right here isn't perfectly sized, so this one's obviously not going to be perfectly sized either. But from here on, we can then zoom out again, so fit up to 100%. And then you can uh, just decide, okay, what part of the video do you want to show? You can move this left and right, right? So say I want to show, uh, say I want to show this part right here. And you'll see you can scrub through, and you'll see your video shown there. The same with the second video here, you can scrub through. What do you want to show off? I want to show off this in the video, like so, right? And then you want to add some text. So grab your text tool up here and down here. And you can just type um, anything, really. Obviously, and not black because that's hard to read. Unless you add a, unless you add a white, unless you add a white uh, border, then I wouldn't recommend writing in black. But you would just add... If you get this error right here, it's because you have caps lock on, so just click caps lock. And then you can just add you know, your title at the bottom here, and if you want to copy this layer also and then paste it, that's fine too. Or you can duplicate it like so. 
and you just move it over and name your video, right? And then when you have this, you can just save this as a template. So you go up to file and uh, save as, and you could save this as a template. And that way, whenever you open the project up again, you'll see this basically, but all you gotta do is change the name. So say, okay, well, next video, I wanna feature different videos. So you just change the name, right? You change the name and same with this one over here. You change the name, you know, whatever. And if you wanna change these videos, you don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is right click, replace footage and press file. And then you just select another video. So say I wanna replace it with this video right here, for example. And you'll see it's basically replaced. That video is now replaced and the same size is there. You don't need to change any of the values. All you need to do is, you know, scrub through this and be like, okay, well, do I want to show this part of the video? No, I want to show, you know, maybe something a little sooner in here or whatever. And you just, you know, select it. And then from there on, you can just go to a composition, add to render queue, and you can render it out. And that's what you basically do every single time. Every time you make a new video, you add, you open up this template, you change the two videos, you change the titles, and you can render this out. It makes it very easy and very quickly to uh, create end cards. You don't need to constantly redesign this entire thing. You don't need to constantly you know, change the sizes or whatever. Just save it, save it as a template, and right-click replace footage, and you'll be okay. And that's kind of how you do it. That's kind of how you make a uh, an end card you can add all cool sorts of little things you can add subscribe buttons you can an add, a, add a floating subscribe button there's a lot of cool things you can do in after effects i do have lots of tutorials using after effects i have lots of tutorials using gimp using photoshop if you go on my channel there's tutorials for a lot of these programs that you need and it teaches you how to edit it teaches you how to animate things it teaches you a lot of things so if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i encourage you to subscribe because a lot of helpful things on a channel that will really help you out to not only you know help you on your YouTube channel but also help you learn the programs a bit more. So if you like this video, enjoyed this video, you learned something, you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon page. All you gotta do is click the card in the top right corner of the screen. Anything as low as that is always very helpful and very much appreciated. I also have a gaming channel, music channel, a vlogging channel, and advice channel as you see right here. And uh, funnily enough, I actually use the same end card for all of my channels. So, you know, it makes it very easy, very efficient, and very quickly where I can just, you know, open up a template, change out the videos, and then boom, done. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, go leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be down there answering any questions you have, any problems you have. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GSMASMART, and I'll be back soon. What do you think? Don't go anywhere.